Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have failed to set themselves up as leading figures, a royal expert has claimed, meaning the duo's paycheck from their yet-to-be-completed Netflix and Spotify projects could hang in the balance. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are under immense pressure to deliver on promises to Netflix and Spotify after the couple signed massive multi-million pound deals with the two multimedia giants back in 2020. As the two-year milestone of their Netflix deal approaches, the couple have yet to produce any content for the giant, which as royal expert Daniela Elza claims, could leave the couple's bank balances with a gaping hole. As evidenced by the low turnout to Harry's recent UN speech in New York, Ms. Elza suggests the couple's paymasters could be worried the Duke and Duchess are not the stars they signed a deal with 712 days ago. Ms. Elza also claims despite the couple's goodwill and number of sizable donations since their sudden departure from the firm they have yet to move the needle on any one issue they have touched. In an op-ed for news.com.au, the Australian columnist wrote, Sadly, for two people who seem to truly care, there is not one issue, not one cause they have really moved the needle on since they embarked on this new life of theirs. More importantly for their Netflix and Spotify paymasters, they have failed to genuinely set themselves up as leading voices of the day. They might do their darndest to sell themselves as inspiring leaders but the proof is in the flaccid pudding that was the lacklustre turnout to Harry's recent UN speech. The comments come as Meghan and Harry have announced they will return to the UK next month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex aim to attend a number of charity events in Britain before travelling on to Germany. During the visit to the continent, the couple is expected to mark one year to go before the Invictus Games 2023. In a statement this morning, spokesman for Harry and Meghan confirmed the couple's plan to travel in September to the UK and Germany. Meghan is set to give a keynote address on September 5 at the opening ceremony of the One Young World Summit. The summit, held in Manchester, brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries. One Young World said they will also meet a group of summit delegates doing outstanding work on gender equality. Although reports suggest the couple would like to meet the Queen during their short stint in the UK, it is believed the Queen may struggle to accommodate Meghan and Harry into her busy schedule. The monarch is likely to be in London or Windsor for two or three days around the time of the duo's visit, to deal with matters relating to the change of Prime Minister. However, one source told that, there are a lot of moving parts to deal with in those days, suggesting the Queen may be tied up with other engagements. Meghan and Harry last visited the UK when they attended the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June, where Her Majesty met her great-granddaughter Lilibet for the first time. Meghan Markle is thought of by some royal watchers as the monarchy's version of Yoko Ono. That is, a woman who strode into an established group, instigated a ruckus, and walked away with one of the most valuable assets. Just a thought. Neither has done a discernible thing to earn the millions and millions thrown at them by Spotify and Netflix over a year ago, instead flying private jets around the world, including to NYC, to celebrate themselves with over-the-top photo ops and self-aggrandizing visits to the less fortunate.